Let us attempt a problem in which instead of computing the fraction or frequency of progeny having a particular combination of phenotypes, we have to compute how many different phenotypes the progeny of a particular cross will have. So um, as before, let us separate out the traits and work out the, their crosses independently and I'm going to start with the second trait first. So we have B, little b, little b, homozygote, cross to another little b, little b, homozygote. And in this case, all the progeny will have the genotype little b over little b. And in this case, they will have just one phenotype, which is the recessive phenotype. The, the second trait is the cross between two homozygous individuals, little c, little c, cross to big C, big C. And since the parents are both homozygous, all the progeny will be big C over little c, that is, they will all have the dominant phenotype. In the third trait, we have a test cross, big D, little d, cross to little d, little d. And here, we will have half the progeny as heads, or having the dominant phenotype, and the other half of the progeny being homozygous for the little d allele, and therefore having the recessive phenotype. The fifth trait is a dihybrid cross for E, and we will obtain a three-quarter of the progeny as E over dash or dominant, and a quarter of the progeny as homozygous for little e, and therefore having the recessive phenotype. And finally, the first trait, which is a dihybrid cross, will yield three quarters having the dominant phenotype and a quarter having the recessive little a over little a phenotype. Now, in order to compute the number of different phenotypic combinations, we can utilize branching diagrams and the, f the second trait only has one phenotype possible, recessive. So there's only one leaf here or one branch. The second trait also has only one phenotype possible. So there is still just one branch in the tree. However, the third trait has two different phenotypes possible, dominant and recessive. So now we have two branches or two leaves. The fourth trait has two phenotypes possible. Keep in mind, we only are keeping track of how many phenotypes there are and not of what the probabilities of those phenotypes are. So now we have a total of four leaves. And finally, for the first trait, we have two phenotypes possible and we get a total of eight leaves 
that is there are a total of eight different phenotypic combinations that the progeny of this cross will have and of course you can always compute it by multiplying the number of possibilities at each stage so in this case 1 times 1 times 2 for the fourth trait times 2 for the uh, fifth trait times 2 for the first trait is equal to 8 different phenotypic combinations as a result of this cross. Lastly, let's look at a problem where we have to compute how many different types of gametes a given individual will produce and again we can use branching diagrams to visualize all the process of meiosis and how many different combinations um, of uh, uh, alleles that a given gamete will have so let's start with the second gene or the second chromosome where there is only one type one allele so all gametes will receive a little b then for the third trait this individual is heterozygous and the gamete could either receive a big C or a little c. For the fourth trait, this individual is once more a heterozygote and therefore the gamete could get either the big D allele or the little d allele. For the fifth trait, this individual is a heterozygote and so you could get again two branches per leaf big E or little e and finally for the first trait this individual is a heterozygote and we can have two further branches either a or little a and so on and therefore the total number of gametic combinations or allelic combinations and therefore the total number of different types of gametes is 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times Two, and that is 2 to the power 4 or 16 different gametic combinations next here is a problem for you to practice there is a cross uh, given here and for this cross you have to compute the number of genotypes that the progeny will have the number of phenotypes the progeny will have, the number of different types of gametes produced by the first or the second parent, the fraction of the progeny who are homozygous recessive for all the traits, and the fraction of the progeny who have the recessive phenotype for all the traits. Bear in mind that one should pay attention to the precise genotypes that the parents have as well as remember to compute the, the genotypes of the progeny for each trait separately and then combine them utilizing branching diagrams and the product rule.